Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 15th of July, Monday of the week of Pentecost 8. The reading, Isaac Watts, 1674-1748. There is a great difference between the skill and the grace of prayer. The skill is but the outside, the shape, the carcass of our responsibility. The grace is the soul and spirit that gives it life, vigor, and efficacy that renders it acceptable to God and of real advantage to ourselves. The skill consists chiefly in a readiness of thought consistent with the various aspects of prayer and the facility for expressing those thoughts in speaking to God. The grace consists in the inward workings of the heart and conscience toward God and our life of faith. The skill has a show and appearance of holy desires and affections, but holy affections, sincere desires, and real conversation with God belong only to the grace of prayer. The skill and the grace are often separated from each other, and it has often been found that the skill of prayer has been attained in great measure by study and practice and by the common workings of the Spirit of God communicated to some persons that have known nothing of true grace. Conversely, there may be a lively exercise of the grace of prayer in some souls who have a very small measure of skill, who hardly know how to express their thoughts and desires in a methodical or regular way, or to express those desires in tolerable language. And the prayer, George Matheson, 1842-1906. O oh, my Father, I have moments of deep unrest, moments when I know not what to ask by reason of the very excess of my wants. I have in these hours no words for thee, no conscious prayers for thee. My cry seems purely worldly. I want only the wings of a dove that I may flee away. Yet all the time thou hast accepted (coughs) my unrest as a prayer, thou hast interpreted its cry for a dove's wings as a cry for thee. Thou hast received the nameless longings of my heart as the intercessions of thy spirit. They are not yet the intercessions of my spirit. I know not what I ask, but thou knowest what I ask. O my God, thou knowest the name of that need which lies beneath my speechless groan. Thou knowest that because I am made in thine image. I can find rest only in what gives rest to thee. Therefore, thou hast counted my unrest unto me for righteousness, and has called my groaning thy spirit's prayer. Amen.